The evolution of NASCAR video gaming is something to behold. It's come a long way since its first title release in 1985. Over the past 30 years, it's had different developers and publishers while being released on a wide range of consoles. I've played quite a few NASCAR games throughout the years. I still play the classics to this day. Games like this are what got me into the sport to begin with. The game we're discussing today, however, made me reconsider if I ever wanted to pick up another title again. Oh my god, I still can't look back, so I don't know, like, where everyone is. Uh, let's do- uh, there's no one there. Oh, there's- I, there's no one there. There's- we lost connection to the server. Oh my god, what?! <laughs> what the f- <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst NASCAR video game. I just want to point out that I'm not overreacting with this video. If you played this game, you know damn well what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, let me explain. The mid-2010s saw a transition period in NASCAR gaming. The license now belonged to a new publisher, Deuce and Barry Martin Racing. They acquired the NASCAR license from New Technics in 2015, a deal that originally lasted through 2020. The new company's president was Ed Martin, who had formerly worked for Papyrus, Hasbro, EA Sports, and New Technics. Its CEO, Tom Dusenberry, was the founder and president of Hasbro Interactive. Many fans were eagerly waiting for a NASCAR game to finally be released on next-gen consoles. During All-Star Weekend of 2016, DMR announced the game at Charlotte Motor Speedway and also announced their partnership with Monster Games. Monster Games had developed classics such as NASCAR Heat and NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Its president and lead designer were former members of the original NASCAR Heat team. The cover driver was determined by the highest placing Toyota driver in that year's All-Star race. Carl Edwards landed on the cover with a fourth place finish. Not a whole lot of people knew what to expect with this being a new publisher and for the first time since 2002 Monster Games developing. The game was set to be released on September 13th for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I never thought in my wildest dreams a NASCAR game could get so bad, but NASCAR Heat Evolution showed that and then some. Whoa, everyone's going three wide, what's going on? Why am I in 40th? Shifting on its own, the cars sound like lawn mowers. Wow! Wow, they sound terrible! How do I change the camera? Hold on. Hey! What are my controls? What? <laughs> Keep driving around, drive around again, or get off the fucking track, pal. <laughs> you should know what you're doing. What the hell is this? Am I clear? Spotter? I can't look! Car? Spotter! Hello? Am I clear or not? Alright. You, you all you have is your fucking mirror. You can't look to your left. You can't look to your right uh, Frame rate drop you can look at that beautiful frame rate drop right there. No, that's not my computer making the video bad That's the game you can look at that the frame rate drop is horrible uh, by the way That's a glitch of Texas where they crash every time and uh, yeah, did you catch that right there? Did, let, me, let me know if you can let, let's instant replay that for me, please look at the hood Does that make any sense uh, and then we go to Greg Biffle and we try moving him out of the way, right? Uh, no, cheese it. Yeah, let's just cheese right to that fucking car and stick there like fucking butter. Because, I mean, we can't move him out of the way. Back to Texas, frame rate drop. And we get a caution this time. And it actually took over my car the second the caution came out. And just asked me whether it pit or not pit. I wasn't able to avoid the wreck. I had no idea what was going on. All the AI just magically fixed themselves out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah. That was it. And then, it, it, better than not, it already, it already tells me who's pitting on the left side. So, I don't know how that works. Apparently, I know when other teams are going to pit. So, we get ready here. Green flag's about to go out. And I'm like, you know what? What the hell just happened? So, I was like, okay, that's just weird. Let's resume the race. I'm trying to get Busher out the way, but yet again, the physics are broken in this game. So, you can't get anyone out of your way. You hit someone in the side, you catapult in the wall, and you fly like you're fucking Rey Mysterio trying to do a 619. Once again, I'm not even doing the pause glitch. Huh? I'm not even doing the pause thing, I'm just straight up faster. How do I change the camera again? Oh, there it is. Oh! <laughs> he only turns the wheel when you change the camera, even if he's already turning the car. Oh. <laughs> oh, someone's looking, better start turning now. It's like a lot of that draft, good god, here we go. Still there, I just got to the inside of him, Spotter. Can I get a run on this guy or what? What's going on here? Come on. Please, can I get a run? Please, sir, can I have a... Oh, oh, I'm there! 
What the f*** is a spotter? I get on the outside, he says, still there, and then just never clears. Spotter. Still there? What do you mean, still there? Spotter. Hello. Are you alive? Uh, these are basically PS2 graphics on the cars. Uh, the cars looks so trashy. Track looks good. Track in, in the background looks looks really nice, be, be, besides the freaking rendering. Um, it's just, the features are just unrealistic. Slow down now. Here we go, slow down, slow down. Oh shit. I saw those guys. Oh, hi! Jesus. Okay. I mean, that's the race, I guess. I got fucking killed. I got absolutely destroyed heading into, uh, into the pits. And somehow there's not a caution. How is there not a caution, man? I don't know what's going on. Um, all I know is that there was a caution, and I'm a lap down, and all of a sudden, the AI have gotten very easy. I don't know what's going on. I wasn't even looking at- <laughs> I just hit the wall because I wasn't even looking at my screen, honestly. I was- I'm so- what is going on? I'm guessing this is some sort of, uh, kind of like the rubber band effect. Uh, kind of like catch up on GTA, basically. You guys have catch up on. I'm not focusing on my driving. That's why I'm making mistakes. But uh, it it seems like that. Basically, the AI have just slowed down for me. Um, because we're catching right back up. I have unlapped myself, and within the next couple of laps, it looks like we'll be battling for 36 with 12 laps to go. Uh, I don't want to say anything because I know basically whatever I say that's negative about this game I will get completely ridiculed of um, because people will defend it and they're, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Uh, obviously you guys could tell in my review video how everyone, uh, not everyone, but um, a lot of people agreed, a lot of people disagreed, a lot of people uh, emphatically agreed, and a lot of people emphatically disagreed. But um, this is one of those issues where this this I feel like proves my point as to what is going on. Um, so adaptive AI, I literally was a lap down and they just slowed straight down for me. Uh, yeah, of course I'd like to create a career profile. It's my first time. What am I gonna do? Say no? I don't want to create a profile. I click career because I wanted to. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> For record, this game came out in 2016. 2016, this game is only four years old and it looks like this. Hey, oh, Paul, 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 no! Save me! Paul, I swear to God. Paul, Paul, Jamie! It's all down the toilet. This bothers me with you pausing all the time. Well, it's the only way to keep up with them. There's legitimately no other way. Like, the game's just not... I hate this game. Uh, it's terrible. Alright, so let's go to Dover. Now, and this is qualifying, actually. This is something I was very interested in. Interested in. So, uh, just look at the lap time. Alright, so we got 23.7, right? Uh, that was num lap number one. So let's go ahead and go to lap number two. So this is lap number two. We got 23.6. Alright, so don't you think the tires would fall off at this point? No. Alright, so lap number three. 23.6. Alright, so let's keep going. Lap number four. What you got for me? What you got? Lap number four. 23.6. Alright, so what you got for me after that? You know, it has to be better, right? Lap number five. 23.3. I ran my fastest lap on lap five at Dover. Where's the tire wear? Lap number six. 23.6. Honestly. Like this, this, this is actually a joke at this point. I was, I was laughing. I am 100% convinced without a doubt that NASCAR Heat Evolution is the worst NASCAR game of all time. The development team obviously did some correct things with the game, but there were so many other multiple issues that just completely ruined it. In the years following their first release, the company rebranded to 704 and continues to carry the exclusive NASCAR gaming license. 
To end on a positive note, the Heat series has improved each and every year with each release. With the company having the license for the next decade, there is nowhere else to go but up. If they can survive NASCAR Heat evolution, then trust me, they'll be fine. I know I'm in the minority here, but when it comes to the future of 704 games, I feel like despite their size, there is definitely a ton of potential. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.